So this video is going to trigger some people. It's very similar to the class unity is the strength of a nation video, which I can throw in the video description. But this one is in defense of inequality. So nothing in this world is truly equal. Personalities are not equal. Human beings are not equal. Wealth is certainly not equal. And one of the strongest benefits, one of the strongest features of wealth inequality is the ease of coordination. And also wealth is kind of a past accomplishments and past deeds and success in business. And past success suggests future success, doesn't it? So look at something as simple as an artist. Um, people always say, I can't create art because capitalism doesn't give me enough time and doesn't give me enough money to create art. And in some mythological communist utopia, we would be creating art all of the time. Now, this is such a nonsensical statement, such, a, such an absurd statement, because you can drive down to the capitalist art store and buy all of the paint that your heart desires for under $50. All of the canvases, the brushes, like 25 different colors, and it will probably cost you like $40. <laughs> so you're telling me that you don't have $40, that's why you can't paint? Nonsense. They don't paint because they don't push themselves. They don't have the discipline, they don't have the character. And that's fine. Not everyone is going to be a successful artist. Not everyone is going to be a successful businessman. That's just how the world works. That's how the universe works. Not everyone can play in the NFL and be like, and be the star quarterback. Not everyone can be Elon Musk. There's so many people out there who think that just because they helped their parents mow the lawn, they deserve to be as rich as Elon Musk. There really is people out there that feel that way. And they don't notice that Elon has been working his entire life doing tremendous things, making tremendous decisions, connecting talent together, uh, compensating thousands, even hundreds of thousands of employees. He is making phone calls, he is connecting dots all day, every day for his whole life. And that's where all the value comes from. And then scaling those companies to a national and international level. He adds tremendous value to society as an individual. And I'm trying to add tremendous value to society as an individual through the creation and propagation of ideas. And that is a creative pursuit, just as much as painting is, just as much as creating films, as much as creating music. Honestly, businessmen are artists. Engineers are artists. And the there's such there's such a weird um, hatred for businessmen. It's it's quite odd. I don't quite understand it. And I've been uh, lower class. I've been work working class my entire life. And I do not understand the hatred. So I'm getting a little off topic here. The point I really wanted to drive home is that wealth inequality makes coordination, economic coordination, far, far easier. Is it harder to... Is it harder to propagate an idea out through 10,000 people, average people who aren't really paying attention, who don't really care about the future of the world, they don't think about business, they don't think about investing, they don't think about any of these things for any significant portion of their life, right? So propagating your investment idea out to 10,000 of those people and having them agree to voluntarily give you money, to give you a portion of their life savings, that's a world without uh, inequality. And then a world with in inequality, you have to propagate that same idea out to 10 people who are thinking about the future, who are thinking about investment, who are thinking about business, uh, complex industry interactions and things like this, and science and where everything's headed and what is needed in society. And the reason you know they're thinking about all of these uh, complex, esoteric things is because that's how they made their money. 
that's how they became wealthy is is through success in investing in creating institutions in finding talent and finding great ideas and so uh inequality in capitalism is a feature not a bug i say i say that a lot because it's a really important concept a lot of these uh systemic kind of qualities are features not bugs and people assume that they're bugs because the reality of the situation makes them uncomfortable or something about that ism something about that ideology makes them uncomfortable whether it be propaganda they've seen or things they've been told by friends and family and celebrities or something like that and furthermore with this coordination problem not only does coordination become 1000 times easier when you have inequality when you have some kind of merit meritocracy aristocracy uh like with mind tokens right w what a beautiful aristocracy that would be if we had an aristocracy that was created through mind tokens instead of the stock system uh, the the mind system is, is in my opinion uh, far superior to the coin system and i'll leave a video in the video description for that one too but um a natural aristocracy is something that could be beautiful and wildly beneficial and the masses of the middle class the masses of the working class do you really want to be burdened with uh this completely new skill set that you don't care about investing <laughs> finding talent uh networking all of these things these are all skill sets that uh that the lower classes don't care about <laughs> Why would they, right? You, you have better things to do, like uh, play video games and go to your friend's party. Uh, that, I guess that's a form of networking. But anyway, the, the coordination problem is cannot be understated. And in a perfectly egalitarian society, who does the coordination? Congress? We know how terrible that is. We know how disastrous that is. We don't, we don't want that system. That's the system that... Uh, I've kind of set my my whole life against my whole system is against the legislature my whole system is against the whole idea of having a centralized authority to coordinate society because they're just become they're going to become corrupt they're going to become conspiratorial they are going to become self-interested in all of these things in the market this is a very important thing part of of business that people have to understand in the market you only get money by serving people you only get money by creating goods by creating services by creating institutions that provide goods and services in government you get money through extortion you get money through counterfeiting so the incentive structure creates the rot or it creates the the virtue so in business the incentive structure creates virtue. In government, the incentive structure creates corruption, creates rot, creates evil. And so this is why all government needs to be severely constitutionally limited. Severely. Chained. It needs, it needs to be chained up like the beast that it is. So yeah, I'm getting off track again, as usual, as I always do. The main point to drive home is that a natural aristocracy through mind tokens would be the greatest way to have a uh, decentralized collective that can coordinate society and move society forward in a free market libertarian ideal and the the coin uh, guys the coin token guys can follow the mind tokens and support them additionally financially. The middle class can support them additionally financially. The middle class tends to pile on uh, once the path has already been laid out before them. Once, the <laughs> once it's clear that an idea has legs, the middle class tends to pile on and bring 
that institution, bring that idea, bring that industry uh, into a global scale. And that's fine. That's perfectly fine. That's a great uh, addition to society, to the system. And uh, I really think the the mind token people, the mind token uh, elite would be such a beautiful alternative, such an effective alternative to this uh, central banking financial elite class that we have today that is so in bed with government, that is so corrupt, that is so interested in debt and inflation and rent seeking and all these other harmful, disgusting things. I want to see the mind token aristocracy, the mind token natural aristocracy. That's what I would love to see in arcology. That's what I would love to see moving forward. Uh, Bitcoin is sort of a manifestation of that. The people who, who early adopted Bitcoin are kind of like a natural aristocracy. And I think that's great. I think that's uh, an amazing, important thing once again to solve the coordination problem the social coordination problem and if you think about it money and wealth is really just a tool for social coordination advanced social coordination and so to, to wrap it all together that's exactly why i believe inequality is necessary in society and inequality is a feature of capitalism not a bug of capitalism. As long as we can abolish landlords and uh, pre prevent any parasite classes from slowly consuming society and consuming the lower classes, I think inequality is a perfectly fine thing. And I think that class unity is the strength of a nation. Anyway, that's it for this one. Thank you and have a nice day. But that was